Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Craig Rivest, also known as your everyday dad. Today, I wanna to show you how I mounted these two vintage memorabilia posters of mine on these frames without costing a fortune. So stick around. <laughs> so this one here says Grossbusters 2. I think this one came out of a Mad Magazine. Maybe it was cracked. I used to read a lot of crazy things as a kid, stuff that looks taboo today, but this was definitely in there. It's, it's, we came, we saw, we got grossed out. That's what, uh, what Ray is saying. And uh, for a really big mess, guess who I call? Mom, help! That sounds like my son. Mama, mama, help! Mama, I gotta go pee! Just go pee, you don't need to announce it, kid. So yeah, this one came out of the magazine. And then over here, on this side, I got... This room is protected by the real Ghostbusters. This was cool, this was hanging in my room as a kid. Came with one of those Kenner Proton Packs. Those old school Kenner ones. We've upgraded since then, trust me. So yeah, this one was, this was my, hanging in my room too. And then we got, we got the big guy right here. Oh, let me move it back. Oh, try not to break it. Ghostbusters 2, coming soon on video cassette and laser video disc. What, what is laser video disc? I don't even remember that and I was in the era back then. Anyway, let's get to it. I'm gonna show you the process of mounting these, uh, these nostalgic pieces of artwork on the wall. They, uh, they hold a little bit of sentimental value to me, so I'll show you how we fit them into these frames, custom made. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we wanna get a frame. And luckily, oh, I got this big behemoth right here. Whew, that's pretty big, it's 24 by 36. A little, little dusty, must have sat on the shelf for a while, but it'll do the job. Relatively inexpensive from our, my local Michael's craft store. And in order to mount it, I got this black mat board. And this is perfect, it's gonna fit right inside this frame. And then we can put our picture, our poster, our ragtag poster, right there. Whew, this thing is haggard looking. Man. This poster was well loved back in the day. All right, so the first thing we gotta do is trim up our mat board to 24 by 36. All right, so now that we got our mat board all trimmed out, grab the poster. And I'm just gonna set it right down on top here. Now we just wanna measure our poster, get it all lined up, and we're gonna draw a box. And I like to keep it like a quarter inch inside the mark. All right, we are good. We got our lines all traced out in here. As you can see, we got a small box. All right, so here's the trick. We got the straight edge here. We're gonna lock it down with some of these clamps so it doesn't move. Secure right on our first line. We're gonna grab this tool. It's a Logan tool. We push this thumb button down. It's got a little blade that pops out the bottom and it cuts across that line. It'll be right on the edge of that ruler. And we'll line the tool up with its horizontal mark. Dig into the mat board. And we'll just slide it down our straight edge, stopping at that mark down over here. Um, links for all this stuff will be down in the description below if you want to pick these up. And we'll continue on to do the next three sides. We can pull our map board up. And we got a great picture frame. Look at that. I'm framed, guys, I'm framed. So this is what we're gonna use for the map board. You can take this old one and set it aside and use it for another project. A smaller frame, it'll work great on. So let's get our frame up here. We'll get our map board in and we'll get our poster back on top of that. Here's my poster. You guys know what his name is? Do you? Let me know down in the comments below. I will. I want to test you guys to see if you are up on your Ghostbusters knowledge. It begins with an M, I'll give you that much. All right, so now we're just gonna go ahead, set our poster down, grab our handy dandy tape. That one's out. I need this one. So I got a little bit of a confession to make. While I was making this video, the previous poster, I actually recorded the whole process just to find out it was out of focus. You know what I hear right now? The mailman's here. I gotta get something, because I ordered something, 
It's here now. I want to show you. Hold on. Hey, how's it going? Thank you. All right, I had no clue when I started this project that this was gonna turn into an unboxing. Oh, but this is great. This is so gonna be worth it, guys. Wait till you see this. Wait till you see this! Oh. Ecto goggles! Ecto goggles! Why? Because why would you not need ecto goggles? Really? Oh, so cool. So cool. I might, I just might wear these the rest of the video. What do you think? What do you think? Right there? Oh, and it lights up! Yeah! Oh, I think I see a ghost. Right over yonder. Right back there with the cameraman. Actually, these might fall off if I keep wearing them, so. But why would you not want ecto goggles? Santa was good to us this year. Brought me and my boys all kinds of Ghostbusters gear. I'll put a picture up here. That was us. Christmas morning. Yeah, that was fun. It was good times. But anyway, let's continue on with our poster. You guys ready to see the finished project? Project. You guys ready to see the finished product? Hopefully, with any luck. Yahtzee! Yahtzee, guys! It's pretty cool. As you can see, I lay this down here. Our edge all the way around has got this nice little beveled edge. It looks great. Thanks to this, this Logan tool that I showed you. I'll leave a link down in the description below if you guys want to check that out. Highly recommend it. What I really don't get, what I don't get is why people spend so much money on custom framing when you can do it yourself. Buy a regular frame, buy some black mat board, get this little Logan tool, boom, 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 and make your own. It's great. I've made three now. You too can make your custom mounted frames. Stick around, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell. We got some more Ghostbusters content coming. Uh, I gotta go find a spot to hang these. Maybe, maybe over there, maybe over there. We will talk to you on the next one. Whoop. <laughs> that is just plain ridiculous. Plain ridiculous, plain ridiculous. <laughs> I should probably go cut the other board. Oh man, that big poster's gonna be a pain. I should go do that next. Yeah. Yahtzee!